If Obi-Wan Kenobi had pushed Anakin into the river of lava, what would have happened to his body? Welcome to Creepy Crystal Month, my series where every day of October, I'm sharing an eerie earth science story. <gasps> According to Volcanology resources, Hollywood kinda got it right and kinda gets it wrong. Hollywood got it right that Anakin's clothing would have started burning, but unlike most Hollywood depictions, Anakin wouldn't have fallen or sunk into the lava, he would have actually floated on top. Lava is three times denser than water and incredibly viscous. So instead of disappearing into the lava, he would have just stayed on top. But that doesn't necessarily make it better. Obviously, lava is hot, but lava can reach temperatures of almost 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the composition and the color of it. And obviously that would cause catastrophic burns, but the water in your body would literally turn to steam. So you would steam to death. So if Anakin didn't burn to death or steam to death, then the thing that would surely kill him is the inhalation of toxic gases. Which may be a good thing because it could knock him out and put him out of his misery. But let's be real, the creepiest part about all of this isn't the lava, it's how much Anakin was hitting on Padme even when he was a minor and she obviously didn't want his advances. Stop it. I mean, that's truly haunting. That haunts me still. I'm the Cosmic Geologist, and if you like stories like these, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.